All right, what's up, guys? This is the first, uh, I think the first iteration of us actually playing Arena on our channel. Uh, we really haven't gotten the opportunity to do so yet. I'm running on a Mac, so if settings are a little bit bad or if the video recording is a bit choppy, I do apologize. We're going to do the best we can and hopefully have some fun. Uh, the goal here is just actually uh, to play some fun decks. So we don't have uh, anything too crazy, but I think what we're going to do is actually test out this deck here. So this is an Is It Spells list. Uh, this focuses a lot on Sahili. Uh, so the new Sahili here, uh, anytime that you cast a non-creature spell, you get a 1-1 one, one colorless servo artifact creature token. You can also minus two her to basically turn these artifacts, these servos, into Arclight Phoenixes, which we run here. This is very much a basic Arclight Phoenix deck deck, excuse me, so it does have a lot of things like Tormenting Voice, uh, Chart of Course, Radical Idea, we do run Beacon Bolt uh, as a bit of removal, and then Discovery Dispersal again to kind of choose things off the top of the deck and throw them into the graveyard. The goal is to get Arclight Phoenixes in the graveyard as quickly as possible, uh, land out a, uh, a Sahili and hopefully get a little extra value off of that. Uh, and then use things like Goblin Electromancer to make everything a little bit easier to do. So uh, the goal with Arclight Phoenix, if you don't, for some reason, don't know, uh, you can throw this into your graveyard and then it comes back if you've ca cast, excuse me, three or more uh, instants or sorceries this turn. So at the beginning of combat, this triggers uh, and then you can get a, hopefully a lot of Arclight Phoenixes out and deal a lot of damage. So that's kind of the goal. It's a bunch of cheap burn and draw spells, uh, some of which include some discard again for those Arclight Phoenixes, but that's it. Uh, and it's pretty straightforward. So hopefully it will be a fun match. Uh, we're going to actually probably just play like three or four games, uh, just kind of basic games. So it's not going to be anything too crazy. I accidentally went to the profile there. Uh, but again, I do apologize. It looks like it is going to be hope maybe a bit choppy, but hopefully it won't be too bad. We'll see. Uh, but let's jump right in. Uh, I'm going to move over to the Is It Spells deck. I was playing the Goblin Calamity deck, which was awesome. Uh, but here we go. So let's see what we get. All right, here we are for the first uh, game here, and this is our opening hand. I actually really like this one. So this does have our one of our payoff cards here in the form of Sahili. It also has a couple uh, of interactive spells with Shock, and then Discovery Dispersal just gives us a little bit of extra draw. The Goblin Electromancer hopefully is going to be our turn two play, but uh, yeah, a couple lands, this seems kind of perfect. So I do not know what we are up against at all. Uh, looks like okay so creature base deck uh as you should always do uh we are gonna turn one shock this uh so if you don't know you should always shock the uh mana dorks just a heads up uh if you don't play a whole lot you may not know that uh let's see what their turn two is i love this deck by the way it is a very very fun one to play um i've gotten the opportunity to play it a little bit already uh, this is very much just a test run of the new Sahili, if nothing else. Uh, again, playing with it a little bit, it's actually been really, really sweet. Uh, it's not perfect. There are a lot of things in this list in particular that I think could be a lot better. Uh, and so that that's kind of our goal with this, is just to test out Sahili and see maybe where we can make some improvements uh, in the future. I think what we're going to do is... I think we're just going to run out Sahili. We're not under a lot of pressure, so I'd like to get her out early if possible and then hopefully next turn we can discovery dispersal into maybe an arc light phoenix uh, i'm not going to attack just to stave off any uh any attacks on the opponent's side of the field they are doing green red uh so that kind of makes me think riot may be a thing in their list uh i don't know that because we're playing just casual sometimes the list can be a little bit all over the place uh but we'll see hopefully it's nothing too crazy uh let's see yeah there we go All right, so they did play a big swingy, unfortunately not bomb necessarily, but uh, let's go ahead and start off with discovery here. Uh, we're going to surveil to then draw a card. We do cast our little servo. Um, mm. Okay, so I think what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna cast turmoil, term, turmoil, <laughs> tormenting voice excuse me uh i'm gonna put that in the graveyard and then i think i'm actually gonna keep discovery on top uh solely because it lets us see more cards 
uh, and then hopefully we can get uh, either a land or an Arclight Phoenix in the graveyard. If we can get an Arclight Phoenix in the graveyard, that's actually great. Um, that's definitely kind of the goal. And all while we're doing this, you can see the value of Sahili. We're just getting a bunch of stuff in the yard. Uh, okay, so I'm actually going to put Steam Vents in the graveyard. I try not to lose too much life. We've already got our fixing pretty well squared away, so I'm not super worried about that. Um, go ahead and cast that or uh, play our island out. And then I think I'm actually just going to pass. Um, we can kind of block this for days. Uh, it's not super important. So other creatures do get plus one, plus one, and trample. That's bad. That's real bad. Uh, charging Monstrosaur, not good for us, unfortunately. Uh, but we'll see what we can do. So uh, we'll go ahead and pass for the second. Let's see what we get. So obviously they're going to attack here. Um, both of them. So this is going to give trample. Uh, yeah, so that's going to resolve. Okay, so now we've got a couple choices. Um, I think first things first, we'll pass and then declare blockers. So we're going to block here. We do have another Sahili in hand, which makes this a little bit easier. So we're gonna let this go through. The plan is here after combat is to actually shock uh, this guy. I don't like that he gives trample to everything. Uh, and so I feel pretty pressured to actually take that down. Yes, it all goes to Sahili, which sucks. That goes down, but uh, we do have a little bit of a way out. Uh, hopefully we can actually deal with the monster sword though. That's definitely the big problem. Uh, we will see. We do have a good bit of burn in this deck. Uh, we've got lightning strikes, shocks. Uh, I believe we've got a couple of, uh, lava coils as well. Uh, just to give us a little bit more, uh, longevity against certain things. Okay, so I don't really like jamming out Sahili right here. Uh, just because we're under so much pressure with the monster sore. But, uh... Other than that, we're really just going to be drawing a lot. Uh, and I'd rather get some value off of these draw spells. Uh, we are running four Sahili, so hopefully uh, we can get something interesting here. But uh, ideally, we'd also like to get these Arclight Phoenixes in the graveyard if we can get to them. We haven't actually seen any yet, uh, which is a bit surprising. Uh, so I do like Lightning Strike here just because it gives us somewhat of a way uh, long term to maybe deal with the Monster Sore. It's not ideal. We're going to have to two for one ourselves, but I think that's going to be the best way to do it. Um, unfortunately, we don't have a better way, I don't believe. And so we'll pass. My assumption is that he's just going to swing in to Sahili, which makes the most sense. Uh, and no blocks on my end. Sahili's going to go down, unfortunately. But uh, I think we have somewhat of an out here. I could have definitely blocked uh, with the uh, the servo token and maybe given us a little bit more extra in terms of like actual servos long term. But uh, considering our current predicament, I'm not super stressed about that. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and use Radical Idea here. We do draw a land. That's somewhat helpful. Uh, let's go ahead and opt. Potential that I should have opted first uh, for sure. Go ahead and throw that onto the bottom. We get, unfortunately, another land. I think what I will do here uh, is Tormenting Voice. We'll discard Mountain uh, and see what we get. Unfortunately, two more lands. Uh, and we can actually just Radical Idea again. We're just trying to kind of churn through our deck as much as possible at the moment. Unfortunately, we are having bad luck with our draws, but... Uh, man... That is just a powerful board, unfortunately. Uh, it's definitely in their advantage at the moment, which does kind of suck, but we'll see what we can do. Okay, so... Uh, go ahead and pass priority. We'll give block here. We'll block here. Go ahead and let these resolve. Um, we do have a little bit of life to play with, but I'd rather go ahead and kind of take care of these now. Arguably, that was kind of a misplay. 100% um, a misplay. Ooh. Oh, that's bad. Guys, I messed up. I'm so bad at this game. Uh, but 
let's see what we can do here. So we'll go ahead and chart a course. I'd like to see more cards if possible. Lava Coil's pretty good. Uh, we'll discard an island. Uh, we will go ahead and Lava Coil uh, the Tuscadon really quick. Go ahead and knock that one out. And then pass. So this gives us literally we'll live hopefully on one uh, unless something else happens. And then we can take down this, but we we need a bit of a miracle right now, unfortunately, guys. Uh, definitely misplayed on this game a couple times, and that's okay. Uh, it is just casual play, but uh, let's see what we can do. If they've got another threat, that's going to be pretty bad for us. Unfortunately, there's not much we can do. Lanoir, honestly, even a Lanoir Elf will do it just because uh, we can't do much about it. So, I think that's going to be it, guys. Uh, we do have to Lightning Strike here, and then we do have to draw. Yeah, there's unfortunately, there's no way to do it. I'm going to go ahead and concede, and that finishes up game one. Unfortunately, there were quite a lot of misplays on that one on my end, uh, my mistakes for sure. Uh, so I will be just slowing down a little bit, hopefully getting everything down. But uh, I do really like the Sahili deck. It's just fun. Uh, the value there, like gaining off of uh, any instant and sorcery that you play is just super, super fun. Uh, so we'll see what we can do. Uh, let's head into game two. All right, guys, here we are for game two. The opponent is on the play. We are on the draw. Uh, I actually like this hand. We do have a little bit of draw uh, with Tormenting Voice and Charter Course. Sahili is obviously one of our big payoffs. And then Shock for some early interaction. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and keep this. I think that's a reasonable keep for sure. Uh, we are running a bit lower of a land count than the norm, uh, which is usually about 24, uh, just because there really isn't a need for a ton of lands in this deck. Uh, so I'd prefer to kind of slim that down and actually play a few more threats and things like that. I'm going to go preemptively shock on this, uh, just so it doesn't get counters and things like that. Um, and we will see what their turn two is. Merfolk Branchwalker, that's fine. Um... So this coming turn, the plan, I believe, is just going to be Island and to Tormenting Voice. So we can go ahead and discard Arclight Phoenix, get that in the graveyard, uh, and then that's plan A kind of started. And then next turn, of course, we have Sahili Rai, uh, or not Sahili Rai, excuse me, but Sahili uh, Sublime Artificer, uh, that we can actually run out and hopefully start gaining some advantage. If they do play a bigger threat here, uh, it's probably not going to be a Sahili time just because, okay, they didn't, that's good. Uh, so this makes sure, hopefully, that Sahili will actually live. Uh, sorry for the freeze up there. Again, for running on a virtual machine just doesn't usually do the best, uh, job, unfortunately. But, uh, so this gives us, again, a little bit of an out, uh, against some land-based uh, decks, uh, or excuse me, like, low-ground creature decks. Uh, that is a huge problem, unfortunately. <laughs> do not like that. Uh, I don't know... Let's see, so we do have Beacon Bolt. Unfortunately, we're not anywhere close to actually dealing with that. Uh, so, I think we Discovery Dispersal here and work our way up uh, to that Beacon Bolt. So we'll go ahead and do this. Uh, hopefully be able to get another Arclight Phoenix in the graveyard. That would be really ideal. Uh, unfortunately, not here. I'm going to throw that in the graveyard. I am going to keep Lightning Strike uh, solely because... I feel like they're going to have more creatures and things like that. I'd rather have a little bit more interaction with their board, be able to clear it out. And then our draw spells kind of gives us a little bit of inevitability uh, when it comes to just kind of uh, dealing with stuff. So I am going to go ahead and preemptively chart a course here as well. We will discard a mountain. Uh, and then hopefully next turn we've got a little bit more in terms of plays. We can theoretically also Goblin Electromancer next turn. Whoo, Galta. That's bad. That is real bad. So, unfortunately, that might just be it. Uh, this deck is not serving us super well yet, but uh, let's see. So, let's see. Mm, how many instants and sorceries do we have? So, one, two, three, four. So, that's nowhere close, unfortunately. Can I click done? There we go. Okay. Uh, unfortunately, that doesn't really do too much for us. So I can do this. 
And then I can do this. And then this. Uh, so that gets rid of that. Unfortunately, we're still pretty well dead thanks to this Galta. The trample is just way, way too much. We do have to obviously block here. Whoops, there we go. So we will block there. That gives us at least a turn, but I really doubt that there's much we can do here. Um, unfortunately, against these big creature decks, this, this deck definitely uh, suffers a little bit. And here we can see a huge downside to this. Uh, if they do deal with Sahili and we can't get these Phoenixes out early enough, uh, unfortunately, there's just not much we can do. Uh, we are going to throw throw this here, but unfortunately, that's going to be it. So we'll go ahead and concede here. Unfortunately, there was nothing we could do on that one. Uh, just a huge, huge bash on that. Uh, but we will move on to game three in just a second. Uh, unfortunately, no wins for this deck yet, but it is just for fun, just testing out Sahili. I don't really think there was a big misplay on that one. Uh, I think, uh, unfortunately, it just wasn't a great matchup for that deck. Again, um, this is preemptive, so be keep that in mind. This is kind of just having some fun with Sahili. So we will see how uh, game three goes, I guess, in just a second. All right, welcome back, guys, to game three. Uh, hopefully, we can actually get something done on this game. Uh, I don't really like this hand, unfortunately. Uh, I am going to keep it just because it has like the perfect three lander uh, and a little bit of draw on turn two. Uh, normally, we'd like to see a little bit of draw on turn one as well, uh, or at least some kind of interaction shock or something like that. But uh, I think with Tormenting Voice, this is reasonable enough to keep. Uh, we will get to see a few extra cards. And then we have Discovery, uh, which is also quite good. We'll go ahead and play a Steam Vince tapped, uh, since we do not need it yet, but it'd be great fixing later on, so we'll go ahead and do that. Turn two, we do plan to use Tormenting Voice here, uh, not Discovery uh, quite yet. Cool to see these new uh, cards in here, I like that. So we'll go ahead and play a Mountain, and then Tormenting Voice away the Arclight Phoenix. Uh, go ahead and draw two. And now we've got plenty of draw spells, uh, which should be super, super helpful. Uh, we will see. So they're just going for the amass stuff. One thing I do feel like this deck uh, would love to have is, excuse me, uh, some board wipe. Uh, solely because it really doesn't have much. It's got good, like, just piece removal uh, in terms of, like, shocks, lightning strikes, uh, lava coils, things like that. But I would like to run... A little bit more in terms of board wipe just against these aggressive decks uh not too many for sure but uh just to have a little bit more interaction and deal with some of these early game threats uh a little bit better normally if uh so in this case it's pretty clear sahili's going down which does suck but uh normally uh if we can stick a sahili pretty early uh we can protect her fairly well which is really really nice uh it gets us uh it gets us pretty far, to be honest, uh, but unfortunately that is not the case here. So uh, I think what we will do, we're going to have to lightning strike here, I believe. I don't think there's another option. And we're going to have to go ahead and get rid of this. Uh, this is just dealing, it's just adding too much of a buff, unfortunately, for their uh, team. And then uh, I believe we will go ahead and, whoop, if I can, there we go. Uh, we'll go ahead and Discovery, again, hopefully hitting a uh, Arclight Phoenix or two. That would be fantastic. Unfortunately, we didn't get either. Uh, but we did get a Beacon Bolt, and that's a bit tempting. Uh, I do really like Beacon Bolt. It's pretty good right now because it, it will hit two creatures, so I do think we'll keep that. Um, I'm going to keep the land on top for now and then also hit that. So that way we've got land drop into Beacon Bolt next turn. That does seem pretty ideal. Uh, let's see. So the other option, I guess, here is also to Sahili into one of our draw spells, but that does seem worse, uh, unfortunately. Uh, let's double check. One, two, three. So that's going to be able to deal with most things over here. Uh, we'll go ahead and... Oh, I should have discovered. That was my mistake. Um... Ooh, 
Goblin Electromancer is quite good as well. But we will go ahead and Beacon Bolt here. And we're going to get rid of the Reaper uh, just so they don't continually gain some extra value off of that. I don't like this Amass token either. Uh, I'd much rather kind of get rid of that. But uh, unfortunately, that's a bigger priority in my mind at the very least. I think next turn we might be able to do a little bit more uh, in terms of getting some extra value. So we can go out, play Sahili, uh, play Goblin Electromancer if we'd like, uh, or just, yeah, probably not. Probably just play Radical Idea uh, or Discovery. So let's go do that. I believe that's the best play. Or we can Goblin Electromancer into Discovery into like Beacon Bolt. Maybe that's better. I feel like that's a little bit better. It takes a little bit of the pressure off and then gives us a better setup for next turn. So let's do this. Uh, potentially again hitting Arclight Phoenix, that's the goal. Fortunately we don't. Uh, I think we ditch both of these. Or no, actually I think we keep the mountain. Uh, that gives us an extra instant or sorcery, so then play that. Play Radical Idea. And then this allows us to get back the Arclight Phoenix. We're going to Tormenting Voice, Pitching Radical Idea. Uh, another little synergy with this. The jump start there is great. Uh, and then that triggers Arclight Phoenix. So this get, at least gives us uh, some blockers here. And I think that's a little bigger, um, a much bigger priority uh, at this point. So let's see what we can do here. Did they just... Uh, yeah, unfortunately they just got it. That looks to be the case. Yeah, that amass token is just massive. Uh, so we can block it here. Oops. Uh, nope, can't. Ah, uh, forgot, menace. All right, yep, that is it. Unfortunately, uh, that does mean three games, three losses. Kind of bad for the Arclight Phoenix deck, but... Uh, this is obviously a homebrew deck. Uh, it's just a little bit of fun with Sahili. I kind of want to test out a lot of the new Planeswalkers. We also have another deck uh, that's kind of a blue-white prison deck uh, that is pretty sweet. It's very controlling, very, very lockdown style, uh, but very, very fun. So hopefully we'll get a video up on that soon. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, please make sure to leave a like or a comment down below. And as always, please make sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of our awesome content. But with that, I'm going to get out of here. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next uh, MTG Arena video. Good to say that.